recently uh, commend Bill for this <coughs> marvelous action which has received uh, attention from all around the world. This is an historic event. It's a tremendous undertaking. Hello there everyone, this is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth TV. The power of the issuance of currency on a global scale is one of the most important tasks to achieve when trying to set up a one world government. However, for the Canadian people, our situation is unique because although our bank was nationalized and therefore owned by the Canadian people, we still borrow from private banks at interest, which is the number one reason for our growing national debt. The Bank of Canada's charter states that the government can borrow up to 50% of its money from the Bank of Canada at 0% interest. However, since 1974, we have been borrowing from privately owned Rothschild-run banks who seek to stretch their powers to all corners of the globe. On December 12, 2011, Anne Emmett and William Krem launched a case to the federal court against the Queen of England, the Minister of Finance, the Minister of National Revenue, the Bank of Canada, and the Attorney General of Canada. We're currently on our way down to the University of Toronto to hear some updates in regards to the case with the Bank of Canada, where the plaintiffs are seeking to reinstate the power of issuing currency back into the hands of the Canadian people and to remove it from the clutches of the private banks. This is what they've, they've said about this, uh, uh, this uh, case, is that there's no reasonable causes of action, uh, the charter is not engaged, the claim is outside the court's jurisdiction, the plaintiffs lack standing, and the claim is not justiciable. What this motion is, is the first hurdle to arguing the case. Every time you, you sue the government, they bring what's called a motion to strike. No, the government just doesn't like to have these things heard at all. When it initially was enacted in 1937, the bank could directly provide interest-free loans to the federal government, the provincial government, and directly to the municipalities for infrastructure and, ca and human capital expenditure. That was, you know, public works, schools, hospitals, and whatnot. So long as it didn't exceed one-third of the annual budget and so long as it was paid in the next fiscal year, which most governments had no problem doing. But those loans were interest-free, interest-free. There was no interest attached to them. Uh, that practice stopped in 1974 when the Bank of Canada joined the gang of bankers over in Europe. Now the only difference between our bank and the other banks is our bank is a public bank. It's the only bank that is a public bank in the G8 countries. The other banks are private banks, including the, the Federal Reserve in the States. Most people don't realize that's a private bank. If the Bank of Canada can give it to the commercial banks, one quarter of one percent, they should give it to the government at least at one quarter of one percent or at zero percent as, as the bank is mandated to do. This claim has a lot of basis, it's grounded in law. If we get a dishonest judge, he or she will strike parts or all of it, will appeal it. Uh, but there is nothing, there's nothing in this statement of claim that, we're, that we want the government to fess up that's not grounded in solid legal argument. And is this the only set of motions that you expect the government to, to put forth before the actual case comes up? Or do you expect more motions after this? Well, if they, lose on, the if they lose on this, they have to file their defense, their substantive defense. What do you say to the actual claim? See, they haven't said anything to the claim. So if they don't strike it on the basis that, let's say they, they're saying there's no reasonable cause of action. Well, they can't put in their statement of defense, there's no reasonable cause of action. They've spent that, that fuel. They actually have to justify why they haven't been giving loans, interest-free loans to the government, uh, to, to, to the governments. They have to justify why the minutes of these meetings in Zurich are kept secret. Uh, they have to justify why the Minister of Justice is not uh, is not tabling the true figures of revenue coming in and they have to justify it in law. There is no such thing as a failure when you bring a matter to the court that's uh, justiciable or that's ripe for adjudication. Uh, the failure is in not bringing it and not stepping up and, uh, and raising the issues.